Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to use image capture to control your camera from your Mac. So, image capture is this great little application that's in your applications folder and comes with every Mac. When you run it, you get to have direct control over a digital camera plugged into your Mac and do all sorts of different things with the photos on it and even have it take pictures while connected to your Mac. So when I first run image capture, I can see on the left here all of the digital cameras connected to my Mac. When I select one, I get a list of all of the photos on it and lots of information about the individual photos. Now one of the great things I can do here is I can actually go through the photos and edit the ones that are on the camera. For instance, I can select one and hit delete. I can also go ahead and view them in this mode rather than in the list mode. And I can go ahead and import an individually selected photo, several if I select several, or all of them. I can also increase the size of the icons here so I can see the photos a little bit better. I find this very useful when I need to take some quick photos for business use as opposed to photos that I want to then import into iPhoto. I can take some quick pictures, open up image capture, be able to get the photos right off the camera and never have them go to my iPhoto collection which is for family photos. One of the neat things you can do is you can choose to share your camera right here and any other Macs connected to your network can then launch image capture and see shared cameras on other Macs. So you can have your digital camera hooked up to your iMac and turn on image capture, turn on share camera and then go ahead and launch image capture on your MacBook connected to the same network and be able to see the photos on that camera remotely at another location in your house. Another cool thing you can do is you can select your camera and go to file, take picture and this brings up this window here. Now what you can do with this window is you can manually take a picture with your camera. So here I've got my small little Canon camera here and it's just turned on in regular mode as I would to read the photos. But if I go ahead and tap the space bar while this window is open it will actually then go ahead and take a picture with the camera. And then I end up with that picture right here and I can go ahead and do what I want to do with it. I can also set it instead of just taking the picture uh, normally I can set it to automatically download new images to a folder and perhaps to even delete from the camera after downloading. As I did this manually it will just be on the camera regularly. Here it is under today's date. Now you may have also noticed that you can set the camera to take pictures on a regular basis. So you can do automatic and say take a picture every hour have it start, point your camera at something, maybe put it on a tripod, have it hooked up to your Mac, it will take a picture that will appear then in the image capture list here and on the camera and if you've also turned on sharing you can actually then view those pictures on other machines connected to your network. So here's the catch. Most cameras do not work with this take picture function. For instance when I hook up my newer Panasonic cameras to image capture it simply won't take a picture. However, it seems like just about every camera I've tested will work with the basic image capture functionality of being able to get pictures off of the camera. Here's another cool little thing you can do with image capture. You can select several photos like this and build a quick web page by using this pop-up menu, selecting Build Web Page, which is a special choice in that menu. Once you have that selected, you can click the Import button and what it will do is it'll create the special web page. It will launch Safari and then show you the web page in Safari and it's got the three images. I can click on one and it will enlarge it. I can use the hint up here. It's in the pictures folder and it has this very long name to it. I can go ahead and if I wanted to go ahead and copy that HTML page and the images to a website that I own. Just a quick way to create a little gallery of photos from image capture. You can also switch this to make PDF and then click on import and it will go ahead and create this PDF. It will launch this make PDF program and you have this little contact sheet here that shows all the images. Then you can go ahead and change different things about it in different types of layouts and save it as a PDF. Image capture also works with scanners. So if you don't want to use the software that came with your scanner you can just go ahead plug the scanner in and in most cases it will recognize it in image capture and be able to do a quick scan that way. So check out Image Capture in your Applications folder if you're looking for an alternative to iPhoto that gives you more direct control over the pictures on your camera. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.